Okay, so this is a demonstration of a malware detection and extraction tool that I've been working on for the past few weeks. Before I keep going, let's run this script real quick. Okay, so as far as running this program, all you really need to do is supply a memory dump file using the hyphen F flag. And as far as dependencies go, the only thing you need is volatility. You can install this from the volatility GitHub repo and make sure you put it in the user's home directory. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using the Zeus memory dump, which is a memory dump infected with the Zeus virus that I got from the Malware Analyst cookbook. The basic idea is given a memory dump, we want to pull out the memory segments and files that likely contain malware. As you can see, as the script is running, it's already flagging some uh, suspicious memory segments. Yeah, so my goal for this project is the generic detection of malware. So we want to basically look for, in this case, injected code and hidden DLLs. So DLLs are hidden by, say, unlinking the process from the shared um, W link list that holds all of the processes and it's usually how you go and list out all the DLLs on the system. You iterate through it and you find all the DLLs. Um, another way is for a process that usually is benign. So say it's a normal running process, you can inject DLLs into it so it doesn't get flagged as say a process with a weird name or it's put in a path that it normally doesn't belong in. In doing so, the process still, it still looks valid, but on the inside, it's actually still handling the malicious code, but it's much harder to tell. So what the script is doing is it's trying to profile the memory dump image, and then what it does is it looks for all of the suspicious memory segments that may be of interest. And just for further purposes, we're going to log the PIDs and the base offset addresses just so we can easily reference which files we need to be looking at. Okay, now the script's done. So the script outputs for us a report that gives us basic idea of, okay, so what file did we just um, try to analyze? What memory segments did we find that might be interesting? Which files in this memory dump may have injection, may not. And yeah, we're going to try and dump the DLLs based off of the primary, uh, not primary, it's process ID and the base offset address of the suspicious memory dumps. And we're going to try and pull out those DLLs just for further analysis. So in the memory dumps folder, you have all of your memory dumps. In the suspicious files folder, you have all the files that may or may not be something worth looking at and specifically for these suspicious DLLs we pull out the we, we attempt to pull out the DLLs and these are the files that we really want to be looking at so as mentioned in the write-up of this project there's no real feasible way of automating the okay so we'll take all these files and we'll scan them and determine whether they're malware or not they're no APIs that give us sort of that kind of quick response and that unrestricted access that we want. So instead, we're going to be using VirusTotal for now. And okay, so we're in the right directory. I'm going to take just any one of these DLLs and send it. And it looks like almost all of the engines have detected it as something malicious. You can see here. The Trojan Spy Zbot is another alias for the Zeus Trojan. You have just all sorts of flags everywhere. Just for being thorough, we can look for just any other file. And it looks like it's the same thing. Okay, so let's try running this with a different file. I have another memory dump that we'll be looking at based off of the Salady virus. So, is that right? Yes. Should be done in a second. OK. 
Okay, it looks like just from the basic output, there are lots of processes that may be suspicious, but they're not using injection, but one in particular is found. So if we go to this file, we try uploading it, see what we get. Yeah, so you can see how a lot of the different virus engines have flagged this as the Salady virus, including ClamAV. Yeah, this should be able to work on any sort of memory dump that you have that may contain DLL injection, code injection, and things like that. But as far as future work goes, there's much more that can be done for, say, looking at process hollowing, looking at um, files that might be obfuscated, there's packing involved, there are many different ways of evading detection that haven't been covered in the scope of this project. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks.